Hi y'all, I'm Allison. I've got 48 hours for a readathon so I can win my game. Bingo maze, we're in phase three. Ultimately, I would love to get a blackout, but in the least, I need three more bingos because I have to have six bingos at the end of phase three. I already have three on the board right now, so I just need three more. Let me get my notes to make sure that I remember correctly what I'm supposed to win. Okay, I know it takes three bingos to start earning blanks for the next time I play. That first three bingos earned me just one blank. Now, for every additional bingo, I can get another blank on the board. And it maxes out at six. So I know if I win, I get to draw a card that will give me an advantage in my normal TBR games in the following months. So I've already got one and it is awesome having that in my back pocket. Now, if I do manage to get a blackout, if I get every number on the board cleared off of there, then I get to pull from the reward jar, I get to go buy two new books, and I will have complete control over which prompts go on the board next time. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna have 48 hours. It is going on four o'clock right now on March 6th. I think it's, yeah, Wednesday. So I'm gonna have until four o'clock, March 8th on a Friday. Finley's saying hi, he's cheering me on. Actually, he's not, he's trying to get the other cat's food, but she's behind a closed door. So, okay, let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing started. I'm gonna grab my wheel, we'll spin, see what book it's gonna lead me to. And then when I finish that book, I'll come back and that's how I get to spin again. So this is a readathon. I have to read books between each spin. All right, let's get started. I've been dying to play this. Okay, are y'all ready? My, my husband's asleep, he's on the night shift now, so we're gonna try and spin quiet. Ready? Number three, I really hope that's on the board, because the less I spin, the better right now. <laughs> of course not. Number three is here, and it leads us to 17, which is We've got a dead end, so I can turn number three, and now I've got to spin again. If this one leads me to a dead end, then I draw rocks. Otherwise, we could be spinning all day. Ready? Number six. <sighs> okay, it's not one of my colored spots. Okay, so here's six. So there, 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 there. Goes down because we picture that rope here. So there. Then picture this row there. So the <gasps> it leads to number 16. I wonder what it is. Okay, this is going to be the first book that I have to read. Are you ready? It's the color wheel. Okay, so I have to go spin the color wheel. And then that color has to be the dominant color on the book that I choose to read. Ultimately, I'm hoping to pull from my March TBR, but I may be forced to branch out. Let's go pull up the computer. Okay, let's see what color we get. I think that's orange. I can't read it from here. <laughs> okay, orange. Surely orange is on one of the books from this month. Here's the These and that that is my March TBR excluding pinch of magic because that is our buddy read which is going to start next Saturday Okay, let me look for orange and I'm gonna put you back over here. It's more stable Okay, I said the dominant color didn't I? It's the only one believe it or not Is the firm down here? I just got this in. I thought I was getting the original cover. I'm, I'm really sad. That's got orange, but that's not the dominant color. Why didn't I get blue? Blue, I would have been spoiled for choice. So I think I already have to go off of, go off list. That bites. Okay, I'm going to look for the shortest book I possibly can. Oh, wait, 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 Agatha Christie. It's red. This is the one I want. Oh. Darn it, I already read B is for Burglar. How perfect would that have been? <laughs> so you want to be a Viking. 
orange is the predominant color. It's got some text. This was like an extra that came with an Owl Crate Junior box. So I guess I'll cover this real quick and then I will be back. I did it. I found one. Okay, I'm already back. We do need to adjust our timetable here because instead of starting right away, I waited until 5 o'clock. It is now 6.02 p.m. So I have 47, 46 hours and 58 minutes left. And I've already finished the first book. How awesome is that? And my delay. <laughs> I'm sitting on my foot and just pulled my sock off. And my mic fell off again. The struggle is real, people. Okay, my delay. For some reason, I had this urge to make my TBR jar for 2024. So look, I've done really good. That's it. That's all that's in there. So, okay, this is finally set up and we are full on in this readathon. And it took me about 45 minutes to finish this. So it was adorable and quite informative. It's a nonfiction for children. And it's written by John Hayward. It's an abridged version, simplified, very, very simplified version of a book that he wrote regarding Vikings. I'll put the cover up here. I don't remember the title off the top of my head. Norsemen something. I don't know. There were dates in it. I might check it out later. But for now, I'm going to get the board and give it another spin and see what book I'm going to have next. I doubt it'll be this easy. Oh, and we get to put it over on the, on the shelf. It's my first book for the month. So my little ritual. There we go. This is the beginning of the stack. That's where they go when they're finished. Okay, let me grab the wheel and we'll find out what my next book is going to be. And my husband's awake now, so I don't have to worry about being a louder. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Four. <laughs> Lily is right here fighting for the spot. We're going to be following arrows again. So here's 24. Up, 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 up. Down here to number three. Up here to picture that row up there. Number 16, eight. All of that for a dead end. So what was 24? We get to move 24. Let's change it. I think they're all going to, I think no matter what, it's going to point to the same thing. We're going to put it that way. I don't think it's going to stop the dead end, but we get to spin again. <laughs> Drop the mic again and then my glasses fell off my head. Send help. Because it's just... I don't know what it is today. You know what, though? I'm okay if all of my chaos is this and not from the board. I, I can handle that. Okay, let's try. Are you ready? Fourteen. If this one gives us a dead end then we'll draw rocks otherwise we'll be spinning that forever <gasps> look it's right here okay it's not a bingo though and i didn't check last time that wasn't a bingo either <gasps> oh it's a blank i forgot these are on here okay we gotta spin again and here we go <laughs> Number 12. Okay, it's already been done. Here's 12, 6, 5, and we've got another dead end. So uh, we can, ooh, if we move it this way, then we'll get a bingo. Okay, one more spin and then we draw rocks because we, we did get a number last time. So, okay, back to the wheel. Lily. Okay, 
Ready? Number eight. Okay, where's eight? It's not one of the disc. Oh, here it is. Dead end. Okay, let me get the rubber rocks. That'll speed this up dramatically. Okay, I probably need a bigger bag. I've got my little makeup bag from Coach, so I will. Okay, I like this. Isn't this bag cute? Okay. Anyway, I confirmed they're all in here. We get number... 15. And is that finally going to give us one? Of course not. Okay, where is 15? It's hiding. Seriously. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we go down there, there, there. Again? Okay. Oh, we get to move 15. Either way, that's going to point there or to a dead end. Okay, draw another rock. I mean, this is going to take me longer than it took me to read that book. Okay, we'll take this one. Number eight. Are you freaking kidding me? Look, it's a dead end. Okay. Oops. I think no matter where it goes, it's going to go to a dead end. I'm not putting 8 and 15 back in there because we know it's going to be a dead end and we need to move along. Okay. I need another rock. At least Lily moved. That makes it easier. I'm going to go over here on this side. Number... <laughs> there we go. Seven. A lot of work to get a book. Down here. Goes down. There. Goes up to... Here, 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 here. Goes around to here, here. To the corner. Which is where we started, right? On seven? Yes. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. This one, we can point that way. Because then it'll take us to four. Let me go the rocks. And we'll go here. 23. Can you imagine if I was spinning? This would get annoying. 20. Oh, look, we got. Oh, we get a bingo. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Okay. Look, right there, we got a bingo. It was worth it. And it's a blank. So we're still not done. I'm not going to complain about that, though. Okay, I'm not doing the wheel. <laughs> we're just going to draw the, the rock. We'll do the wheel after I actually do a book. Okay, we get, mm, there we go, 21. Hmm, okay, here's 21. So there, goes there, there, up to there, wrap around. And we get the four, and that's a bingo. Look, we got two. I just need one more. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to pay for it. Over 500 pages. So, that will actually kind of balance out the first book because that one was so short and quick. So, let me check my TBR. I think I've got some long ones on there. Let me find. Oh, wow. This is only 392 pages. I thought it was going to be more than that. So, this doesn't count. Mm -hmm. I've got Dread Nation, which is eight pages long. <laughs> I think that's a bonus chapter. Oh, I didn't know it was going to have a sequel. I didn't realize this was the start of a series. 451. Nope. Okay, so on my TBR, the only book that comes close is Twilight with 498. And this is that whole conundrum that I had during my extras for... Uh, I, 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 dang it, it's coming back to bite me now. Because I, I had the whole, should this count for an over 500 page book dilemma before. And here I am again in the same spot. 
I did decide to count it. So should that just carry over? Or do I have to find another book over 500 pages? You know what? I already went through this dilemma before. For my other TBR game, I declared this to count for 500 plus pages. So it, it's going to count for this one too. I'm technically shy two pages, but I, I think it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to... I'm going to cut myself a little bit of slack this time and go ahead and do this one because I have a very big TBR. It's March 6th. I haven't started anything yet. So this is going to be read. I am going to read Twilight. So I have read this, I don't know how many times. Tons. I love this series. Absolutely love it. So I could potentially fly right through it. Either way, I will be back when I finish. Let's see how long this took. I'm going to check the clock. It's 620 now. So I have 46 hours and 40 minutes remaining. Okay, I am going to go to Forks and read Twilight. I am not upset by this. Bye. I'm back. It's now Thursday, 10 minutes till noon. I thought I would finish Twilight much earlier than this, but you know, it is what it is. So I read up to like 12.30 last night and then I went to bed and I think I got to page like 311. And then Finley, the little stinker, woke me up at 6 a.m. So I thought for sure I was going to finish this early this morning. But for some reason, everybody was very talkative all morning long. I was like, why is it whenever you're deep in a book, that's when your whole family wants to come out and socialize. It's, yeah, but I did finish it. And it's going on 10 minutes till 12 right now. So I think that means I've got, what, 36 hours. I love Twilight. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you think it's cheesy, if you think it hasn't aged well. I love Twilight and I always will. Okay, let's get our board and a spin and find out what my next book's going to be. Now, I've got five bingos. So look, there's one, two, three, four, and five. So I only need one more to officially win phase three. And then I'll get to pull a reward from the cards. But let's see. Got, what, 36 hours? Four spots left. Maybe, maybe I can get a blackout. Let's go ahead and spin and find out. Well, we won't find out right now if I've got a blackout or not. But we can get a step closer. And a good thing my husband and I did a little experiment today. He stood in here, spun the wheel while I stood beside the bed. You can't hear it back there. It feels very, it sounds very muffled, kind of like a playing card on the spokes of a bike. So I don't have to feel bad about spinning when he's trying to sleep anymore. I love that. Okay, are you ready? Let's see if we can get one of those four numbers. I'll spin it twice and then we go to rocks. Here we go. Number nine. Okay, I can immediately tell it's not one of our colored spots close. Number ten would have been perfect. So now I gotta find nine. Okay, here it is. So we go up to this corner, we go around to the four, and then back. So yeah, we've got a Another dead end. Let's see, I can move my arrow. There will just give us a dead end. There would give us a dead end. I think they're all dead ends. I don't know, we're, we're just gonna go that way. Let's spin one more time. If that one doesn't work, then I'll get the rocks. Two, 10, 13, or something. <laughs> I don't think that was it, but hopefully the arrows will lead me to one. Okay, we're 16. There's 16. Okay, so we go here, 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 over around to here, to here. Now we take this row and put it over here. So that would go down to this one, which takes us back up. So, nope, we got another dead end. So I get to move 16 this time. 
Okay, this is an easy. Can point to that. Putting all the ones back in from last night. I can't believe how long that one took. Hopefully this isn't going to be a repeat. Okay, let's go over here to the side. 13. I think that's one of our numbers. It is one of... Oh, she's got the last bingo. Look. I get to pull from the reward. Okay. So, bingo. That is number six. Yes. Oh, oh, oh no. Random number shelf. Okay, I got to pull up our number generator. And it says shelf, not bookcase. So, what that means... We're going to exclude these little small ones because there's only two of them that have books on them. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, obviously, but it will span all of the bookcases. Now to hopefully manage to get one of my March TBR books on there, if this has a permanent home on one of those shelves, then I can pull it from there. Now I'm going to go over generate a number between one and six. Okay, I got number one. So I can check the top shelf and pull a book from there. So let me look and see what shelves I'm dealing with. Kind of got a mixture of YA and some like owl crate books on that top one. Here's obviously Harry Potter. And then we've got Patricia Cornwell's K. K Scarpetta. Over there is adult thrillers in the corner. And then we've got a sci-fi on that one. Here is biographies. Then we've got Game of Thrones and the Sex and Tales and the classics. So those what I have to work with. So let me see if anything over there lives there. I looked out found by Margaret Haddix Peterson. Cause look, here's the rest of that series. So it came from there and it'll count. I'm going to read this one. <clears throat> I think I got this at my kids galactic book fair way back in the day. So this is a middle grade sci-fi and I think it's got like a mystery too. So Jonathan's 13. He's always known that he was adopted and his friendship was adopted as well. They begin receiving mysterious letters. First one says you are one of the missing. The second one says beware they're coming back to get you. So Jonah and Chip are plunged into a mystery that involves the FBI, a vast smuggling operation, an airplane that appeared out of nowhere, and people who seem to appear and disappear at will. So I'm going to read this one, but this will be a fun one. And it's not long. So maybe I do have a shot at a blackout. This is 314 pages. All right, let me check the clock. It is 12.04, so I have... 35 hours and 56 minutes left to go. I will be back after I read this one and we'll see if we can get those last two. This is cool. Okay, bye. It's still Thursday and it's 5.30 at night. So I have 23 and a half hours left and they finished found. So fun. It was great little mystery going. Some sci-fi action with a uh, Adoption being a, a big proponent of the book and I've read this before. It had been a very long time. So I had forgotten probably 80% of it and I really enjoyed it. It was quite captivating. So I am looking forward to moving on in the series because the last time I only read the first book and I never got any farther. So I think I've got up through book five up there. All right. So uh, this one gets added to my done pile and I need to grab the board or the wheel and see what's going to be next. I have a f almost a full day still. We'll go for it two times and if I still don't have a number, then back to the rocks. Are you ready? <laughs> Number 14. Very easy to tell. It's not gonna be one of our last three, but now I have to find it. Oh, look! <laughs> I, was gonna say, I was prepared to follow all sorts of arrows and everything. 14. Bam! And that's another bingo! A standalone 
Look at that. I love it. Two left and another bingo. Yes. Okay, let me, I've got, I think, quite a few on there. Watch, this will be the month of series, and I won't have any standalones. Let me look. It was closer than I thought. I only have three that are not part of a series in that whole list. So, I have a YA thriller. I could do Natasha Preston, The Fear. And I have a middle grade, The In-Between. This is another mystery and an adult mystery, Her Sister's Death. This one's from Once Upon a Book Club. I'll be filming a vlog for this, opening the gifts. So I'm going to set this one aside and say no for now because that'll take extra time. And I have less than a day. So that takes us down to In Between In the Fear. I know this has something to do with like a train wreck that happened like a hundred years prior or something like that. And an investigation because the kid who moves in next door has a signia on their clothing or something that hasn't been seen since that wreck. There was only one unidentified person on there. So there's that. It is middle grade and this is middle grade March. But Natasha Preston's The Fear. Hmm. Decisions. I'm going to see how long they are. 339 and 311. I'm going to go with I really, really want to read this. So the odds are higher that I will make an effort to get to it this month. This one has always been kind of eh. I don't like the cover. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the in between. Get as many middle grade as I can this month. So this will guarantee one more. Okay. So this is from Owl Crate Junior. It has to do with the in between. You know, between the veil and all of that stuff. And I know it'll be a mystery. So I'm going to dive into this. Let me check the time. It is 537. So I have 23 hours and 20, 23 minutes. Oh, 23, 23. All right. I will be back after I read this one. Two more numbers. That's all I need. Okay, so it's still Thursday night and I finished it. This turned out to be a lot darker than I expected. You know, from the flap that the kids are, the parents are newly divorced and the dad's kind of not in the picture at all. And Cooper, he is very angry with his father. So I was surprised at the, the level of anger in it. And it, it was warranted, but it did give it a darker tone than I expected. While I enjoyed it, I don't think it's one that I would ever read again as far as the mystery aspect of the, and the in-between aspect. I predicted all of that very early on and it played out exactly like I expected. But it was good. Like I said, I, I don't feel like I wasted my time or anything like that. I just, no desire to read that again. So, let's add it to my pile and see if I can get another one tonight. Okay, we only had two numbers left on the board. I have a chance. It's like 1030 thereabouts. I'll give you an exact time here in a second, but let's spin first. Number six. I know we've had that before. Where is six? Oh, <laughs> I'm not even in screen. Okay, so where's six? Oh, here it is. Okay, so down. Surprise, spin it again. One more with the wheel, then we go to the rocks. I got the star. So when I have the star, that's also a one. So I can rotate this and I can follow one. Okay, so let's see if one's gonna get us anywhere. One goes there, we go up, down. So no, that puts us in a dead end. Okay, so if I move, that'll lead me where I want it to go. Okay, let's get the rocks. Okay, so let's start drawing rocks, see how long this is gonna take. Number nine, <laughs> see if I can 
there we go. Actually, there, because I think I was covering the little line on the bottom. So, where is 9? There, which is going to be pointing to this one, which puts it, yeah. So, we get to get rid of that dead end, so that'll be good. Or hopefully stop it. That one won't work. I, I guess we'll try that way. Okay, let me get the bag again. And actually, I'm going to put it back in because otherwise rotating it, it does no good if it doesn't come back up. So let's go with this one, number two. Okay, so two is here. So we go here. Then we go up to this one. Oh, we got 19. Okay. Oh, no. It's a TBR jar wheel. Okay, I'm going to set that up and pull it up. But before I do, look, we've only got one last one. I got a ton of bingos. Okay, let me set up the computer. Okay, let's see what we get. Pumpkin of the Halloween jar. I love that jar. That'll have mysteries and horror and all sorts of good things. I am going to say right now, though, if it pulls up a book that happens on Halloween, then I'm not going to read that one because I'm saving it for October. Okay, I've got my, my pumpkin. If I can get it open. All right. There we go. All right. Here for this orange one. And frozen fire. Okay. It was hiding. Okay, I found it. Cover's kind of cool. This is a vet. Had this forever. I think this is going to be a YA. He's not of this world. And this is by Tim Bowler. Let me see what this is. It's a psychological mystery. It all starts with a random phone call. Who or what is the voice and how did it get Dusty's phone number? She wants no part of it until the voice begins saying things that only someone who knows Dusty could say. Things that lead her to believe that the caller and knows the whereabouts of her brother. I guess her brother is missing. Okay, so... I'm just gonna I'm go dive into this one without really knowing what's going on, but I would assume supernatural psychological mystery. We will see. When did this one come out? Okay, here on the inside, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one because summary from the card catalog would be 15 year old Dusty gets a mysterious call from a boy who says he's going to kill himself. And while he claims to have called her randomly, he seems to know her intimately. So we will see. It is supernatural fiction. 2006. So we will see how I get on with this one. I don't know. But it got me another bingo. So that's awesome. And I would assume it'll be a relatively quick read. It's only 300, 328 pages. So I don't think I'll finish this tonight. But I definitely have a chance for tomorrow. And it is now... 10.58. So let me see if I can do some math. So 12 hours would be 11 a.m. I think I have 19 hours left. Plenty of time to finish this, but I do have to sleep. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to go read and I will let y'all know when I'm done. Bye. I probably won't see you till the morning though. Okay. It is Friday about 12.15. So I have roughly five hours, 45 minutes left to finish this. And we've only got one spot left on the board because I just finished Frozen Fire. It was so good. It starts out so sinister and intense and really good mystery. It's, I would call this a psychological thriller with a supernatural element and, or not element, with supernatural. So unique and so good. But I have to warn you, if you don't like open-ended aspects to a book, especially a thriller or a mystery, then you might want to stay clear of this because not everything is completely explained away at the end, but I absolutely loved it. This would be so good for October for a spooky season. I guess it's 
sinister and intriguing and unique and compelling and I really love it. So atmospheric. All right, let's see. Let me, let me add this to my pile. I keep wavering back and forth. In fact, this is sparking new ideas for some variations that I can do in the future because we only have one spot left. So I was like, do I even need to bother to spin? But I think what I'll do is I'll try. We'll, we'll see how many attempts it takes me to either get number 10 or an arrow that will lead me there. I, I don't know. Hopefully this will still be entertaining and it's not just like, just flip it. But give me your opinion on that, by the way. All right, let me get my wheel. How cool would it be if I get number 10? Okay, you ready? Oh, close, I got 12. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Here's 12, four to seven. Nope, but we can move 12. And we're going to take it that way. Okay, one more, then we go to the rocks. Let's see if we can get 10. <laughs> 13. Again, is this kind of redundant? Here we are. Okay, so we go 13, 12, up the star. 3, and that will point up to this one, which takes us here to here to here to here to here to here, which would be this one, to here. So that would be this, this one, <laughs> to here, to here, to here, to here. I think that was just one big loop. That was, that was long. <laughs> okay, so that's not gonna get us anywhere. It's a very long dead end. So I moved 13, which I, I, I don't know which direction would change anything. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. If we go here and we get 13 again, then we'll get it. Okay, let's grab some rocks. Okay, here we go. This one, 18. Okay, are you ready? Here, 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 which would be this one. <clears throat> here, 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 which would be this one. Okay, then I think that, yeah, that took us back to 18. So that's another. <clears throat> okay, this one, we definitely want to go straight down. That'll get us to 10. Go again. I am putting 18 back in. Otherwise, it was pointless to move that. 20. Okay, this is going to get ridiculous quick, isn't it? Okay, here's 20 to 9. We put this row up here. So that would point to 18, which would point to 10. We got it. Which means, are you ready? Blackout. I did it. And it's 300 to 399 pages. I know I have that in my stack. I did it. I beat Bingo Mace completely. But I still have to read the book. Okay, I have quite a few options. The Princess Bride, The Wager, Your Sister's Death, The Fear, and Paula Santiago. Okay, because I don't want to rush through either of these books, because I will be doing an unboxing and a vlog for this one, Once Upon a Book Club, and this is the Wheel book. They will both get their own videos, so these aren't contenders. I don't want to race through them. The same goes for The Wager. I really don't want to rush through this one either. I want to take this one slowly so I can absorb it all since it is nonfiction. So that leaves me with The Fear by Natasha Preston, 339 pages, or The Paula Santiago, which is 353 pages. So why a thriller or middle grade fantasy? I, I think I'm more in a thriller frame of mind. I'm gonna read this one. Let one of my favorite authors finish up a bingo maze for me. Close out my first blackout ever. So I am going to go read this. When I come back, we'll go over all the little rewards and perks that I get for winning this. I still can't believe it. All right, I have, let me check the clock. It's 1228, so I have, let's see, five hours and 32 minutes. I think I can do that. I think I can get this done. These are quick reads, they're so good. 
So this one, we've got a small fishing town, dead of winter, and there's a stupid meme going around. People are reposting their deepest, darkest fears. Izzy thought it was a joke at first until she notices her classmates are dying in a manner that fits their darkest fears. So I'm going to go read this one and I will be back. I'm back and we're going to pretend that today is Friday, March 8th, and it is not Saturday the 23rd. No, it's March 8th. Yeah, you want to play along with me? Because guess what? I forgot to come back in to give you the final update. <sighs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Anyway, I did finish The Fear. I love Natasha Preston. She's one of my auto buy authors, but this one wasn't on par with the other ones. I still enjoyed it. I gave it three and three quarter stars. It was just a little too convenient at times, and I felt like it could have, there, there could have been more, more victims, <laughs> so, but I did enjoy it. So that finished it. I had cleared the board. Look at that. I got a black out. I'm so excited. That was upside down. And so much fun. I love this game. So we've got a couple of things to do since I won. Okay, first let's talk about the blank spots that I've earned. Remember, I have to get three bingos to earn the first one and then I can go up to a max of six. So when I hit a blackout, that's one, two, three, four, five, and another five. So there's 10, 11, and 12. So I did get the three that I required in round two. So that gave me one blank and I can't have 12 total. So I earned six blanks for next time, which will be awesome. So those blanks will really make a huge difference. And I also got to buy two books and I already went and grabbed them. So my reward was the new Janice Hallett, The Mysterious Case of the Alperton Angels. I am so excited for this. I've been dying to get it. It took an extra year for it to come out over here in America. It came out in the UK, I think last year. So it's been out for a couple months now over here. And I finally have it. I love her books. Very intricate mystery. This time we're going to be, I think the premise is there's a safety deposit box with all these documents and newspaper clippings and everything. And you go through them all to try to solve the case. And I love it. Because that was the criticism that her first book got, that it wasn't, the whole premise behind it wasn't as plausible as it could be. So this time she made sure to correct that. And I can't wait to read this book. And my other one I got was on a whim. I hadn't heard of this before, but it's Tag, You're Dead by Katherine Foxfield. This one, there's like a social media influencer, huge, huge channel, and he's going to run this like competition, this game out in the streets. So his latest stunt is a live stream citywide game of tag in which the prize is to get to be his personal assistant. The fans go wild. So 100 of, fan, of his fans are chosen to compete and outfitted with body cams, GPS trackers, and pressure sensors. So if the pressure sensor is activated by a competitor, they'll be canceled from the game. So think like laser tag, citywide, 100 people. Now the contestants are split into chasers and runners and let loose. And the whole thing's live streamed. I cannot wait to read this because four people have darker motives than just playing the game. Yeah. Somebody's going to be killing the competition. So again, this is on the most anticipated list. Has anybody heard of this one or read it? I am really excited. So those were my two books that I got as a result for my blackout. And my other bonus, I'm just raking it in. I get to pick and choose what prompts go on the board next time I play. So I can leave off the 500 plus page prompts or what I can choose to my heart's delight and stack the deck. Now I won't see the placement on the board, but I will I have choice over which ones go up there. So. And to top it off, the next time I play, I have a new variation. We're going to change it up yet again. There'll be another twist that I've been dying to. I've had this list of different variations that I'm going to do with it. And I'm slowly waiting for the chance to try each one. So I've got another one after this. So. Anyway, keep your eye out for the next bingo maze. I doubt I will be playing in April because it's time for the magical readathon with Aurelium. 
So it'll probably come back. I know it'll come back in May. We'll see. Maybe I'll feel ambitious in April and have time to play it, but I doubt it. Especially because we'll be starting over with phase one again with a longer time span. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this. I almost goofed completely. I forgot another perk. I get to draw, draw a, <laughs> I get to draw a card for um, my normal TBR games because I won. I won the phase. Okay, so I almost forgot this. I just played Just Spin It for April, and this would have been handy, but I hadn't, I hadn't come back in and done this yet, so I didn't have my card. So I want to make sure I have it next time. Okay, it's all shuffled. Are you ready? Let's find out what perk I'm going to get. This can be used in any of my normal. Okay, it felt really thick. Swap it. At the end of the game, draw a random prom from the bin and choose between the two. Okay. That could come in handy. That one's kind of a gamble. I'll have to... Oh, not really, because I'll get to choose. So I'm going to put this on my Just Bennett board to remind me I can use this. Well, it says from the bin, which would mean Just Bennett. But I can use it for The Sims too. It just means I would have to draw another book off the bookshelf. All right. So I'm going to add this to my board to save for next time. Yay for my blackout. And I hope to see you day after tomorrow with potentially a Once Upon a Book Club unboxing, or maybe I will manage to pull off The Princess Bride reading vlog. I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Okay, bye.